Jim Argraff was the kind of coach you would want your son to play for. He built a Division III powerhouse at Johns Hopkins, and he did it all on a foundation of doing things right and teaching good athletes how to become better men. Margraff spent 29 seasons as the head coach of his alma mater. He led his team to 14 conference championships, 10 trips to the NCAA playoffs, but people did not merely respect Jim Margraff for his accomplishments. They admired him for his approach. Humble, fair, decent. He taught his players how to look out for each other, play by the rules, and push to fulfill their individual potential. Not merely as running backs and receivers, but as men, intelligent men, heading for positions of power. His legacy is one of winning with class, with players who thrived in the classroom. His final record at Johns Hopkins includes 221 wins, the most wins ever by a college football coach in the state of Maryland. His string of conference titles and playoff trips belong now and forever to the domain of a legend. But ultimately, the sense of loss felt at the Johns Hopkins campus and in the larger community is one that numbers can never fully measure. Karen Campbell joins us live from the Hopkins campus with more on that. Karen. Well, Jerry, Coach Margrath is being remembered as not only a good friend, a talented leader, and a mentor who meant so much to so many people. He's an icon. Richie Shell is remembering his friend, Johns Hopkins head football coach Jim Margrath. On Wednesday, he died, just 58 years old. And he was national coach of the year in Division III. It's just a, it's just a shame for his family and for, for him that he couldn't enjoy it a little more. Shell, who is head football coach at the Boys Latin School of Maryland, played football with Margrath in high school back in the 1980s. They both coached alongside one another at Hopkins University from 1990 to 2000. He was always upfront and straightforward with people. No matter how they liked it, he was, he was always genuine. And so people knew where they stood with him, whether it was playing time for a kid or families with recruiting. I mean, parents loved him as they should, and he took care of these kids. Johns Hopkins Director of Athletics Alana Shanahan says Margraff was an exceptionally talented leader. In a statement, she says, he left an indelible impact on all he touched and made us all better. We will forever be thankful for the unparalleled experiences he provided for so many over the course of his highly successful career. Margraff was the winningest coach in program history, leading the Blue Jays to a 12-2 record last season. He remained head coach at his alma mater for 29 years. In December, the Blue Jays advanced to the NCAA Division III semifinals for the first time in school history. With all the men that, he, that have coached with him, uh, there's probably eight or nine head coaches in the Division III level, the 1AA level, um, and I'm sure Jimmy, uh, his X's and O's and his intelligence, I'm sure there were a lot of other coaches at the pro level asking him for advice and stuff. He's a, he's a great mind. And Shell says Margraf was the type of person that you would want to have in your corner. A memorial service will happen here on the Homewood campus, but details about that service have not yet been released. Now, the coach leaves behind his wife, three children, and again, so many people who he meant so much to. Reporting live tonight, Karen Campbell, WBAL, TV 11 News.